for coming to you live from our studios here at MS24. My name is Kwabna Amyal versus MS Briggs. Now, coming up, government is set to create 3 million jobs in the next decade through the Young Africa Project. Also coming up, the Ghana Revenue Authority intensifies the fight against corruption with a new quality assurance unit. Now to the details. In a bid to stamp out corruption, the Ghana Revenue Authority has commenced operation of its quality assurance department. Now the unit is set to protect the taxpayer from abuse by some officers of the GRA and also block revenue leakages. And Mr. Dai Owusu Amwa is the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority. And you'll find that quality assurance number there that we are going to put. And you'll be publicizing that number a lot. So what, when you are calling, you are not calling your local office. You are not calling your local uh, auditor. You are calling an auditor who is sitting at the head office at the quality assurance unit. And then you complain. So when you complain to that auditor, that auditor who has to do the investigation, so you don't even need to tell the auditor who is working with you that I'm complaining about you. If you're not happy, you just call that auditor, the, the quality assurance audit unit. And then they will come in and do the independent audit. Today, when you are complaining, you are complaining to the same person or you are complaining to the direct boss of the same person. And that doesn't give you the assurance and then the comfort that you, you even, some for people actually even fear that if you call, if you complain to his boss, they will even intimidate you further. And that's why we have come out with this particular unit that will ensure that people get independent assessments from their... Now away from that, let's focus on other stories. Chief Executive Officer of the National Youth Authority, Sylvester Tete, says over 10,000 young people are expected to benefit from the Skills Towards Employment and Productivity Program. Speaking at the Nation Building Update Program here in Accra, Sylvester Tete added that government trained 3,000 young people in digital marketing and entrepreneurship program. Skills towards employment and productivity program, STEP. This project focuses on providing young people with artisanal trade and vocational skills to equip them to gain employment and exploit entrepreneurial opportunities in response to reducing the rising youth unemployment challenge in our country. It targets semi-skilled and skilled youth in the informal sector and also aims at imparting financial literacy, marketing and branding, leadership, cooperative entrepreneurship skills, and teamwork to beneficiaries, whilst demystifying negative stereotypes in vocational and technical training in our country. Recruiting for the program starts in October 2020, with 10,000 young people expected to benefit from this initiative by the end of the year. Now let's stay a bit longer on this particular issue because at the same event, Executive Director of the National Board for Small Scale Industries, Kosi Yanka Aya, disclosed that government plans to create 3 million jobs in the next decade through the Young African Project. Young Africa Works Project, partnership with the MasterCard Foundation came along, their first partnership with a government agency, but saw the good works of the National Board for Small Scale Industries and partnered giving over 100 million Ghana cities to provide jobs for the youth. The target of the Young Africa Works Project in partnership with the MasterCard Foundation in the next 10 years with other parties is to create 3 million jobs for the youth. This is no small number, and the government deserves a round of applause for this great intervention. Over 300,000 programs have been implemented across the nation, in almost every district across this nation. As we mentioned, 185 new business advisory centers were opened and 37 business resource centers established under the able body of the Ministry of Trade and Industry to provide a one-stop shop for business development. Now let's do some more stories. The National Insurance Commission has, ca has cautioned local importers against the practice of buying overseas insurance, especially in Asia, to ensure their goods. According to the head of supervision of NIC, Satishan, out of the estimated 90 billion worth of cargo imported in 2019, only 6% bought insurance from Ghanaian insurance companies. Speaking at the seventh maritime seminar for journalists, he described the practice as very dangerous since some of the languages used in the writing of insurance is not easy to read and translate and is therefore calling on the companies to change.
Well, that's it for today's edition of MS Breaks. My name is Kwabana Ame. I'll keep watching MX24.